Hey guys, um, so let's just get back into the videos. Uh, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Um, so pretty much, um, that's, if you haven't seen my latest videos, I'm pretty much up to the part when I'm pregnant. Um, so nothing really special happen after that after i was diagnosed with placenta privia and things like that um the doctors weren't worried because they said that it can change um which it eventually did so it was not a worry anymore um the pregnancy went smoothly um i started doing my youtube channels more and you know being religious about it i started taking pictures of my bump um i was working my husband was working you know we were doing our thing but um we just were, weren't getting along and i do believe that it was just carried on from our um previous issues and i was pregnant so every little thing pissed me off like i just couldn't stand him sometimes and things like that so it was, it was okay. It wasn't the best pregnancy. I will always say that. You know, little things that I wanted to do, like, um, I never got to do my baby, um, my baby cast. I did a maternity shoot, but just for me personally, like, I, I got a camera, I took pictures of it, like, it's, like, I have those pictures, but I don't think I would ever put it up, but I have those pictures. Um... But we were fighting, like, all the time. I ended up um, being diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Um, but then uh, with one doctor. And that was a OBGYN that was near my house that was, you know, a block away. I decided to go there. You know, because it was so close. But I asked them if they would be able to deliver in the hospital that I wanted, an LIJ hospital. And they were like, well, no, we don't do that anymore. Like, what you have to do is find a doctor that's affiliated with the hospital. We're affiliated with, you know, a different hospital. I'm just like, no, nah, I don't want the hospital. So I ended up looking and um, his cousin, who previously had a um, kid, she was like, oh, I gave birth in LIJ. And I'm like, oh, who's your OBGYN? And she was like, oh, it's this doctor. He's really great. And you should go to him. So I went and I, um, sorry, I went and I called them up and I um, asked them, you know, I was like, hey, you know, I want to switch doctors or whatever. And the lady told me, like, well, we don't switch doctors. We don't poach other clients, uh, other patients from, uh, we don't poach patients from other doctors. And I'm just like, well, you're not poaching me. I'm calling you to do it. She's like, well, we don't do that. So she hung up on me. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I want to change my doctor. So anyway, I ended up just um, calling a few days later and like, hey, I want to set up an appointment. Um, I'm pregnant and I need an OBGYN instead of saying like, you know, I want to switch doctors or whatever that worked. And I was about almost, mm, sorry, I was almost 20, almost 20 weeks pregnant at that time. So when I went in, they did all, they wanted to do all these blood works, whatever, whatever, because I eventually came on like a new patient. And so um, I told them, they were like, ask me, they asked me in the end, they were like, oh, did you, and did you see someone? I'm like, yeah, I saw this one before, but I didn't really like them or whatever. And they were like, okay, can you get the information from them over here? And I'm like, I'm trying. They said that they did it, but they didn't do it. 
So they was like, you know what? It's taking the doctor was like, you know what? It's taking too long. We're just going to do our own test all over again. And so when they did it, they were like, um, yeah, you know, you have a little concerns. You have a little bit of gestational diabetes. Um, your thing is high. So let me do, you know, the sugar test or whatever. So I ended up doing the sugar test. I, I failed the the um, one hour test and I went to do the four hour test and I passed that one. But he was like, oh, but your charts say that, you know, your blood sugar, your A1C levels are a little bit high. So I want to do it again. And he was like, this time, eat like, because I was eating keto a lot. So I wasn't eating a lot of carbs at that time. So um, he was like, eat carbs, you know, eat a normal diet and let's see what it is. So I did it again, the four hour test. And only one of my things came back a little high. And the only reason why he just diagnosed as gestational diabetes is because of my um, fasting level. So my fasting level was a little high. It's supposed to be 100, and I think it was 110 or something like that. So um, that that is what pretty much happened. So he's like, that's how I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes. And um, pretty much I just like... I switched like doctors. I really like this one. If I when I get pregnant again, I'm going back to this one. I really like that one. But everything was fine and um I didn't really have much in the issue. He just wanted me to test my blood sugar all the time. You know, I wasn't on insulin or anything like that. He didn't even give me any pills. Um he tested my blood sugar all the time. He told me to test it and he told me to keep track of what I was eating. So I went back to staying keto or whatever, and I ended up, um, you know, it was like fine or whatever, because I didn't want to, I really wanted to make sure I was keto because of the gestational diabetes. They say, you know, do that, you have a bigger uh, baby or, you know, your baby might have blood sugar out of whack when they give birth and things like that. So um, that was, that was pretty much it, honestly. Um, with me switching my doctor, that gave a little hiccup, but yeah, that's, um, pretty much it so far for this video. Um, in the next video, I'll probably talk about, um, later on in my pregnancy life because this, it was fine. Everything was fine up till about like maybe 32 weeks pregnant. So that was like 12 weeks of um, going to this new doctor. I mean, my family life was still like horrible. Like we were, me and my husband were fighting all the time, like every single day, like literally every single day we were fighting. And it was just a very stressful and annoying and not a very great time. Honestly, my husband kind of ruined my pregnancy for me. Um, even though pregnancy wasn't like what I thought it would be, but he did ruin it. Um, you know, he didn't make the experience any better. And I was always, I was so nauseous for 12 weeks. And when I, you know, when I first got pregnant, I was so nauseous. And then the second trimester was good. But then when I hit the third trimester, nah, like <laughs> I was nauseous again. I was throwing up again. Like it was pretty bad, but yeah, that's all in the next video. I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell button down below. And we'll chat as usual.